morning. Today, we're going to kind of complete our email signature. Uh, we're going to save it. We're going to add a hyperlink and we're going to upload it into our uh, email settings uh, for our signatures. So first up, make sure that you have your image saved as a PNG and uploaded into a Google Doc. Uh, if you have not yet done this, reference the last video uh, showing you how to get it saved and uploaded. Uh, and then the second thing is just make sure you have it set to three inches so you're scaling it down uh, to fit within that three inch margin. Uh, that way it won't be oversized when we go to upload it onto our signature. Uh, but now you are going to take our image. We're going to click right next uh, on the right side of it and then hit enter just to get underneath our, uh, our image. And we're going to insert a social media um, icons and then create hyperlinks from those icons. Uh, so to do that, we want to click on insert. So go up to the very top. We're going to insert an image and we are going to search the web. So when we search the web, we can go over here and uh, kind of type in what we want. Uh, for these, for this instance, I'm going to do Twitter and Instagram. Um, you do want to try and make sure that you're looking for a transparent. So I just said Twitter logo transparent. And you want to try and pick an image that's going to match or coincide um, with the design that you're of, of your uh, of your image. So I want to make sure that I'm picking one that. Let me go ahead and do this T. It's not taking away from my design. And then hit insert. It's going to insert that image, but at a large scale. And it's too big. I don't want it that big. So I'm going to take it, just drag a corner and drag it smaller. And again, you don't want it to be oversized. You don't want it to overshadow what uh, what your signature is. So this is going to be like secondary information. So it should be smaller. Um, the one thing that I want to make sure of is that you have it set to inline. And that will be important when we add the hyperlink. Uh, we'll just click next to it and we'll go ahead and repeat that process. Uh, I'm doing it again for Instagram, so I will search the Instagram logo. And it's, so since the Twitter is, uh, is a black one, I'm going to go with that with the, uh, with the Instagram as well. And then again, we're going to drag it down in size. Uh, since I clicked right next to the Twitter, uh, it will want to stay next to it. And so we, I'm just trying to resize it so it's uh, in similar scale uh, to, to the Twitter logo. You know, the one thing here is, you know, they're kind of offset. So I would probably try and find logos that, uh, that pair up. So in this case, you see the bounding box on the Instagram is nice and tight around the logo, whereas the Twitter, there's a, the bounding box is quite outside of it. So I would probably try and search for a new Twitter logo, uh, but for this video, we'll just leave it this way. All right, so now we have the, our icons uh, set up in there, and now we want to add a hyperlink. Uh, and this again is easy. So we have this little insert link, looks like a chain um, icon, and we can click on it, search or paste a link. Uh, so if you know what your link is, you can type it in. I do not, so I had to go to uh, Twitter. So I have already signed into Twitter for a print shop account. Um, and you know it'll default to home, and you want to make sure you're going to your profile. You can either click on your profile uh, icon here, or you can click on the, the header, the picture, and it takes you to your profile. Uh, then you have this web address up here. 
And what we want to do is we want to copy it. So I, do, I am highlighting it. And then control C for the PC or command C for the Mac. And now that's copied, I'm going to go back to my uh, Google Doc and then paste that in. Uh, so it pastes in, then you hit apply. I'm going to do the same thing with Instagram. Same thing when you have your icon, you're going to click on your icon. And then you have your address, copy the address, hit the link, paste, and apply. So now, when we hover over, we have the link to both of your social media. Okay, at this point, we're ready to go into our email. So if you, you know, you can go into Classroom, find your uh, little waffle, and then get to your Gmail. You can type in Gmail in a search. You know how to get to your email. All right, so once you in, are in your email, uh, you have this little cog wheel uh, for settings in the top right corner. You want to click on to that and then see all settings. That'll get, to, get you to a bunch of stuff. Most of the stuff I've never even looked at before, um, but you have lots of options. You want to scroll pretty much all the way down to the bottom and you can see it'll say signature. Uh, for mine, I've already got my, uh, my current signature in here, but we can add more so you can use more than one. Uh, and so for this case, for me, I'm gonna hit create new. I'll name it 2021 signature. And hit create. And from here, we want to add in what we just did. So go back to the Google Doc, and we're going to select all of this. You can just click and drag, and it will select, or you can control A, control A, and then control C for copy. We'll get back into our settings and then we're just pasting those in. You can see it drops it in. It's a decent size. We've got our um, social media handles in there. And for me, since I have two signatures, it's giving me suggestions, it's giving me options. So uh, I can set up a signature for my uh, new, e for new emails or if I reply or, if, or forward anything, I can send a different one. Um, so it gives you some creativity there. But I'm gonna go both, uh, both reply and forward and for new emails, uh, from the 2021 signature. And to apply these, we're still not done. The last thing we have to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit save changes. And now when I go compose a new email, there we go. We have my new email signature. That's it.